What's going on YouTube family? This is Astronosis here coming at you with another Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia video. This will be the May recap and I'm joined today by my buddies Megaham and also Lord Kite of Kite's World. Good afternoon everybody. Hope everyone is doing well. Hello, hello. I just came here to drop by and see what's going on, but hey, I literally just joined. Nice to meet y'all. Now, another shameless plug uh, here today as a veteran. Um, I hope everybody's staying safe this Memorial Day weekend, but make sure you're being absolutely safe. And uh, if you know a veteran, um, give them a call. Shoot them a text. Uh, I would rather celebrate a veteran on Veterans Day than mourn them on Memorial Day. I personally have lost many brothers and sisters to uh, both war and the war at home in their own minds. So absolutely make sure you guys are staying safe that being said let's go ahead and get this kick off i don't want to get too depressing here <laughs> let's get this kicked off so the first slide we have here today is the character enhancement boards what do you, what do you guys think How, are you guys excited for this whoa this is something yeah this is something that i'm really really excited about most especially for the characters let's say people who got not so lucky with the artifact cp costs Yep. This is probably your biggest chance to get more CP for your characters and more passives. Now bear in mind, really up to that. there is one small problem of this gives you 150 CP, but all the passives are, I believe, 180 CP altogether. Oh, but in general, my oh, friends, these no. passes are nothing to scoff at. Each of these yeah. passes boosts your, all of your skills, respectively. Skill 1, skill 2, and yes, even the EX skill gets a buff out of this. So, yeah, it's worth it. I'm, well, I'm really looking forward to this. It basically helps those who don't have the greatest artifacts for their, you know, 108s. They don't have very many of them, or their Braves or their damage is just meh, and they don't really feel like grinding the artifacts. This helps tremendously. And if you do have artifacts already, well, you're just that much more powerful. So there's no faults to this system. It's wonderful. It's e epic. I look forward to it very much. Oh, uh, yeah, and as a follow-up, one second here, um, they, you do unlock everything similar to a summon board, but it is not a grind like the summon board. So that's the nice thing. You're essentially passively getting the points to do these. It's a dip, excuse me. It's a bit disappointing that we don't have the mod pass with this, or maybe they'll surprise us. I don't know. Uh, but as you passively do your events and shit, you're going to get these points. Uh, and then one thing they did not say. And I don't know how accurate this list is, but I'll go ahead and list it off from the Tonberry Troops uh, forecast. Is the characters that are apparently going to get it this month are going to be Warrior of Light, Furion, Onion Knight, Paladin Cecil, Barts, Terra, Cloud, Vincent, Zack, Squall, Zidane, Tweetus, Tuna, Shantoto, Vaughn, Lightning, Sarah, Ishtola, Noctis, Ramza, Ace, Lael, Arciella, and Jack. Holy fuck, that was a mouthful. Uh, <laughs> if I remember correctly, an easier way to remember the following of what he just said, everyone, is Josh on the stream, if I remember correctly, mentioned that anyone that's currently available in the Dimensions in Order EX shop is about to get their character boards. Yeah, and also the upcoming characters. Uh, that being said, who are you guys prioritizing first? Because we only get 5,000 points per event, and it takes 15,000 to max a single character. Okay, I, I, I thought it was 5,000 to max a character. Oh, is it? I, I could only, be wrong. Or, or, but it's still only 5,000 per event. That much is correct. See, I was under the impression that each board was its own so-called board because there are three sectors. I, I could be absolutely wrong. Maybe it is not 15,000. Maybe it's 50, maybe it is 5,000 to max all three sectors. I, I, I can't read Japanese and I don't i didn't really math it out i just been kind of messing around with it so but who you guys are prioritizing out of the buddy <laughs> for me the answer is real obvious for those who know me zadon's about to get his rework more on that in a minute but with him coming he's got to be my first zadon all the way absolutely about you kite well i'm gonna stock up on arciella for very particular reasons because for some reason, I think they're gonna have to wait for their turn to get their enhancements for the character boards, but 
if if possible, the character that I'm possibly going to enhance out of the protagonists that we have available, and since I don't have Squall, shame on me, I think I'm going to go with either Stola, Noctis, or Warrior of Light. Oh, that doesn't sound like a bad plan at all. Um, I'm a bit surprised that Lena wasn't included in the list, but because that being said, if she was, I would have probably started with her. Um, along those lines, I think for me, the obvious choice would be Furion, but I don't know I how to say how useful. You better say Furion. I'm about to call you out <laughs> on, on this, like so bad. I just I don't know how I'll, if I'll be able to use him too much. In I, I'll try. But the other priority would obviously, I think, be Arciella, simply because she's going to be ridiculously busted. Yeah, well, not in a minute. Yeah, we're going to talk about Arciella later and why, among all of us, are hyped out on this particular character. Well, somewhat. They also mentioned that the voice lines are going to be delayed too, so. Ouch. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, all right, so next up we have, I, I seriously cannot wait for this, the raid event, Sanctuary Keeper, where both Lena and Cypher will get reworks and also their EX, Cypher gets his EX debut and both get their realizations. I don't know about y'all, but Lena I am insanely pumped for because she is absolutely amazing. She becomes a force to be reckoned with, lots Instant of eye break, more poncy. Three. Mm -hmm. Same. Instant three! Instant I'm going to summon for Lena and Cypher with the remaining tickets that I got. Yeah, I'll yeah, I'll be know. summoning for uh, Cypher as well. I don't know how deep I'll go. I uh, I still have every single EX weapon in the game, amazingly enough, despite not wrecking my stash recently. Uh, but I'm not going to build him right away. Not not with realization. Lena is obviously the priority. After that would be Arciella. Um, and I think that my team for this fight is going to be Lena, Ramza, and Snow. Same thing yep. for Dimensions End 11. Um, yep. Yeah. 100%. That's exactly my team as well, sir. I'm uh, 100% with you on that one. If I get Lena's EX, that's going to be the same for me. I just got Snow's EX yesterday, and I'm pumped up. I'm ready for it. Yeah, well, yeah. there you go, people. Three different people can't be wrong. Lena, Snow, Ramza. There you go. Victory is yours. I mean, we could be. I don't know. But, I mean, Lena is still a safe bet. <laughs> Ramza with anyone pretty much is boss. Like, you, I, I don't know if is you guys saw my video, but Ramza made Leon beat some cheeks in the Jack Chaos. So, <laughs> that was legit. <laughs> Uh, right. Ramza is a god right now. Uh, allow me to spend a couple minutes to say, if you've been sleeping on him, don't. If you can afford to go for him, do it. If you have him and you haven't had the opportunity to build him, I recommend it. He is amazing. He will synergize with darn near anyone in the game. Like, he, the only real thing he doesn't have is healing. But that's easily mitigated. So, I mega ham seal of approval on Ramza all day next up i'm going to shamelessly plug josh's cat i believe he said his name was colgay it's kind of like colgate the, the the and you know when i saw the cat i was like holy shit why why is nix on my screen where'd nix go because my cat looks very much like but colgate the eye color is quite different isn't it oh uh, no i think the eye color is about the same um and also on this slide uh Rydia, I cannot wait for her as well. I mean, I know she's a ways away, but that's going to be another it's instant purple be, for me. Yeah, she's going to be this July, I think. Is it really that close? Wow, shit. Yep, in Charlotta's last chapter. Okay, and then moving forward from the extremely cute kitty, we have the daily token foray. So apparently, from what I didn't know about this, because I didn't really pay attention and I can't read the JP version of the game very well, uh, apparently this is now a monthly thing where there's going to be a daily token thing and you have to really plan out. It's similar to what we're doing right now with the the, 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 the cactuar. Yeah, we're not going to get all the rewards, unfortunately. So we have to Got to pick and choose. Yep. For me, it's a really hard decision to make. I went with nuggets, and then I I didn't even notice that there were tickets on there because I was about to get uh, bloom tokens, and I sprung for the tickets for obvious reasons. <laughs> I Likewise, got the ticket, I got the ticket, all the tickets, five of the red nuggets, and some blooms, 
if I can remember. I think I bought the weapon token because my snow is 35 less. I didn't get his CP35 on my ticket summons, only the 15 and the EX. So this is going to be an emergency precaution. Oh, if man. I don't even get RCL is 35 because that's my major problem right now in my summons. All of the EX characters I got never got a 35. Mm. All right. All right, PC, you're in. See, I'm and had you been I'm playing again for... during the uh, holiday campaign over Christmas time in December, you would have been getting a lot of weapon tokens. Like they were just, Lots. they were raining. It was like being in a strip club. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> I do regret. I do regret leaving just because of some certain reasons unmentionable. And it's all good. Okay, and then next, and I believe. Oh no, that's not the last slide. Uh, so fall, upcoming, we have after this, we have Prompto's last chapter. Um, I am personally not going to plus him just yet. I have uh, heard. I don't really understand what his rework even does. Like, or wait, does he get a rework? He does not get a rework. He is just simply getting his EX realization. He doesn't. Right. Oh no! Wait. The 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 um the forecast says he does get a bit of a rework, but I don't oh, know what it does. I, I I can't read. I'm blind. Y'all ignore me. <laughs> Freya, on the other hand, is getting a rework, and I do absolutely want to build her. However, she's going to take a backseat to the upcoming Arciella event because if I have and the ingots, here we go. Arciella is absolutely getting my ingots next. Yep. Same here, because the very reason why RCL has been sought out by me and Asti is because she's a dispeller, debuffer, and support in one. She can debuff opponents, dispel buffs, you can even disable HP attacks. And she also and blocks, uh, yeah, the, the HP attacks. For the party. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's, I think, going to be my, one of my picks for Dimensions N12. Assuming I have the ingots, and I think I will. I, I'm, I'm fairly confident that I will have the resources to 3-3 three, three her. And then after yeah. that, I am not really sure where I'm going to go. Um, but I know, I know, Ham, I know you're against meta characters. This is simply one that I cannot let pass me by. And you know what? I 100% understand, which is why I myself am going to go pretty hard on tickets. I'm still iffy if I want to drop gems, and well, I'll actually mention why later on in, the, in our video here as to why I'm iffy, but even I cannot deny what Arciella brings to the table. So I'm going to throw at least 150 tickets at it and see what happens. Most everybody else that I talk to, that I know, that play this game, will tell you this is a must pity. Period. No questions asked. Yeah, because she is absolutely usable pretty much going forward. Even mm -hmm. in Lufenia. No she, doubt. Much like Ramza, she goes with everybody. So, yeah, <laughs> there's no wrong answer with her. Exactly. And speaking the... of... And what? what is it? Oh yeah, the boosted characters for Arciella's event. Who are they again? Uh, so with Arciella comes uh, Preesh. So I know Ham wants to use Preesh, and then also Renoa. Uh -huh. Renoa! I actually have Renoa purpled, so I will probably use her for that fight. I'm, I'm probably gonna, gonna be... Go ahead, I'm, going I'm, to bring Re... I'm going to bring Renoa on this event. She's my FF8 waifu. <laughs> And because of some really nice luck I've had lately, I may very well be the one of the few that purples preach, and I'll get back to y'all on how I feel about it. <laughs> Go ahead and say it now. I mean, I, I, I don't disagree with you. I do think yeah. that Preach is very viable. Uh, she's very underrated. Um, I think part of the problem with her, with her and a lot of the characters that we're getting, it's simply a matter of too timing. little too late yeah it's timing like they're being released alongside characters like uh arciella and kais who we'll get to in a minute it's just it's it's hard to justify it but if you have the resources and always always go for your uh, favorites first i mean meta is great and all but if you're not playing with your favorites and enjoying the game then what's the point and the thing with Preach is she carried me through a lot of hard spots, and she's got a special place in my heart because of that. Same. Early on? Hell yeah. Nowadays, she wastes turns, <laughs> but once upon a time, like, uh, she was a, a lifesaver back in the day. 
and that's about to change again. And I'm about to give her the love she deserves, man. Like I said, she saved me many times before. I look forward to using her. I really do. I do yeah. wish that they would hurt us. Gonna... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. I'm going to try using that Trish on the next couple of events one day. And keep in mind, like, she does get a rework, and some characters are still usable. Like, you guys, I'm sure you guys saw my video where I used X Death on his own Chaos, and he was base CX. He was not realized. Um, granted, yes, he's boosted, but because of how he functions, I was like, you know, he'll probably work because he doesn't care about the defense up on True. Chaos. So he simply gravities and gains his brave based on his attack level. So that worked out. True. And don't forget that. This is also your second chance on get enhancing Prompto's artifacts since he's the fourth additional boosted character for RC Ellis event. Speaking of which, I, I, I really wish they would like speed up the Cosmos co-ops because I believe it's a Italian that we get the first Cosmos co-op for an event. Like that needs to be a thing, because I hate farming artifacts. Holy fuck. Um anyway, moving oh, on. Boy. Uh so next up we have the mission dungeon and first of all i'm absolutely getting that goddamn paladin cecil costume because he's one of my favorite characters Yay. and then we Yay. also <laughs> we also it's have nintendo ds appearance and 3d versions mm -hmm. with the lustrous sword and this shiny paladin armor with horns on the both sides yeah on the shoulder armor and also yeah. with this i may be alone with this but i am going hard on the cyan and fujin banner i know people are all about fujin oh cyan gets however not a lot of love i'm i want to use him like i actually made him work back in the day when we used to get those, some of those heretics events where you had to use certain characters he was boosted but he actually saved my ass in one of those early on ones i, I wish i had had been recording back then but my phone was too shitty to do so but he gets a rework fujin gets a rework they become and very they both, strong and they both get their ex debuts as well and the much awaited redemption of cyan because it's mostly about cyan who is you know it. Yeah, Cyan is, a, is currently a, well. Actually, both these characters are memes. I will say that uh, there was a chaos recently that Jin Lee uh, carried her through. Um, I wouldn't yeah. say that she pulled her, her weight, so to speak, but um, he still successfully completed it despite her not having a rework and EX weapon. I'm all in for Fujin as well because you're looking at the Final Fantasy VIII fanboy here. Yeah, and I'm she, very she's good. highly interested in Fujin myself. Uh, if I have some spare tickets, I'm probably going to throw them at this banner as well. Just to see if I can get lucky. My only problem is that is it's going to appear quite early than what I think it is. So there's going to be a slight problem with my ticket stash. Yeah, these are, these are kind of condensed uh, events because this one's in June. So, or, I'm sorry, bad. June does. Of course it's June. Um... But, it's gonna um, be bad news for me. I thought it's going to be on mid June. It's, yeah, it's June tenth is when it starts. Like we have a very, yeah. very busy couple of weeks coming. Yes, we do. Oh god. Speaking of which, we're gonna be talking about yet another big name in a moment. Um so following that is Dimensions and Entropy twelve. I know we I kinda touched on this a little bit with regards to Arciella. So the theme here is we have tough against melee. So sorry, Snow, um, but while well, I'm using you on Dimensions End Eleven, they're also strong against ranged attacks, which that sucks because uh, that means I can't Ouch. I can't finally park my Aranea. And then we have powerful and framed buffs. So example, brave damage resist, which fuck. And then they regularly release. Uh, high HP damage. So that being said, this is where Arcella obviously shines. Um, I'm also thinking maybe, excuse me, using um, I think Porum and possibly freeing up my Vanille from Dimensions N7 to use here. What do you guys think? I for sure, just based on my team, which isn't exactly the most expansive, but it's decent. I have Aerith available. I'm taking her here for sure. I am not certain about the rest of my team yet. I'm still far away from Entropy. I'm still in tier 4 stuck. Don't know what to do. Yeah, we'll get you there. Eventually your, yeah. your, your roster is going to grow as you get them nuggets and ingots and all that good shit. So yep. eventually you'll catch up. 
but I absolutely yep. feel that Arciella is certainly a go-to for Dimensions and 12. Um, I'm just... I just... Hmm? I, I'm sorry, I was just about to say, I just realized I lied, by the way. Uh, I know who my second member is, but we haven't gotten to him yet, so more on that in a minute. Ah, yes, I know what you're getting at. Following that, we have the Alpha No Lost Chapter event. <laughs> this is I, 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 long I, I will defer to you on this. I mean, I love Alpha No as well, but I know uh, that despite not playing Final Fantasy XIV, that you've done your research and you love this character. So I'll, I'll go ahead and hand the reins to you on this one. Shoot, research? Nah, no research. I simply liked the way he looked. I liked his play style. I'm a big. I just love people who can do damage but support the party at the same time. It's just how I've always played these kind of games. And so now I got this guy that comes out of the nowhere. I don't know who he is. And only with a 35 CP, I'm mopping the floor with things. So now we're about to get the EX. That alone gives him his new summon. So he's his new carbuncle with new attacks. And it's cute. Even, even better support viability. I, yeah, in case you can't already figure it out by the sound of my voice, I'm hyped. I'm going all in on this banner. If I have to pity, I don't care. I know most people would probably call me crazy. You know what? I don't care. Call me crazy. I'm going all in. I am so ready for Alpha No. It is ridiculous. Now, another one that they did not put on here is... Um... Ida actually gets her realization on this one as well. And the yeah, funny thing is that she, her, Ida is actually stronger than her true self, Lise, which is kind of, well, I should say not necessarily strong, like stronger in damage, but Lise also brings other shit to the table like um, battery and buffs and shit. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to realize her just yet because, well, there is also this so called mystery character who is very obviously Kais. And he also yeah, comes spoilers. with <laughs> he also comes with the Zidane realization. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> mm, I know Ham is pretty hyped up, fired up, cute carbuncle. I have Zidane. no idea what you're talking about. Mm, well, you 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 do love your Zidane and Finods. We know uh, how you feel. Now you want to talk about something I've researched. Zidane Stellar Circle 5 can start, can, will, will eventually hit everyone. Free Energy has 50% splash damage on all non-primary oh, non, non targets. <laughs> you can start with Booster 8 at 2 of 3. It... Ah, oh god, excuse me, I gotta remember we're on video here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay. it, 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 I, I do think that people listening in uh, do like to hear the hype. I mean, shit. Well, this is my hype, so... And Ka I, okay. And Kais is another busted character. You know you know what, Ham? I love me some AoEs and splash damage. Well, buddy, we got it with on now. He, Stellar Circle 5 gets AoE Brave, but it still only does HP damage on a single target. Ah. And then Free Energy does... Full damage to the to the primary target, but every other target on the screen takes fifty percent splash. Oh boy! So basically, mm -hmm. Squall before he got his upgrade to where Renza hit one hundred percent on everybody. And, he got her, and for those not certain of how Zidon works, he has a special debuff which automatically drops. I believe it's the speed. I don't and remember. Max Brave. It could be attack. I could be wrong, but I for know for sure the Max Brave dropped by 20%. That's framed. And then he gets a frame buff that I believe it's also attack and brave. It's been a minute since I've looked because I put the poor guy on the bit on the bench for a while, so. Yeah, same but, uh, here. But that's about to change. He's about to be my primary DPS for a long time. I got his, I got his boards fully maxed with this event. So I'm looking forward to using him again on Kaisa's event. Hey, 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 bro! We might need to put a uh, loud noise warning for <laughs> when I went ballistic. <laughs> Just a heads up. Uh, I know yeah, the last I couple did. when I was in here that uh, we caught people off guard. We probably don't want to do that again. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I, I didn't. I didn't realize that th that this happened. <laughs> I had to oh, double check buddy. that video again. 
I yeah, am, I'll, I'll put a disclaimer. I, I am I am known to get excited and kill ears, apparently. So sorry, everybody that sees this. I just I'm so excited with Alphano with Zidane. I have the potential to get Arciella. I mean, we got we got a good month coming, folks. This is definitely the time to go for some characters. Yeah, and Kais is absolutely no slouch. Kais is mm. also a meta character. Like he 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 essentially breaks the game as well. Like we're getting a lot of game breaking characters this month. Yep. And it's also going to be the most expensive in terms of ingots, so mm -hmm. choose your characters carefully, and if you got a lot of ingots for your characters, go crazy. Yeah, no, <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't even say that. I mean, ingots are such a precious resource. You know, you've got a lot of good folks, but Cho I'm with Ashley. Choose them wisely. If choose you've got them a wisely. favorite, and you know you're going to use them a lot, because uh, let's be real here, we're closing in on a new era very, very soon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know, favorites. I'm with everybody on that priority. After True. that, you need your solid characters. Arciella, definitely one of them. Kais, definitely one of them. Did I say that name right? Yes, Kais. Um, mm -hmm. Kais, Kais. I don't know. Whatever. Kais the point makes is, sense. those two. If you go look at any other video in relation to what we're talking about today, they're pretty much going to tell you pity, pity, pity. So, I'm going to tell you the same thing. If you need a character like that, yes. Pity, pity, pity. Mm -hmm. They are 100% they are worth it. Um, I'm personally not going for Keese. Just, I don't care. Sorry. But I, even I'm not going to pass an Arcello without giving it a fighting chance. Yeah, I think, um, I think from what I've both. seen, uh, the consensus is more leaning towards Arciella over Kais, but Kais is also ridiculous. Yep. Total launch. One of your, let's say, one of the all-time launch meta characters for and the yeah, longest I know, time. I, I know he's, like, really dang good with, like, setting up launches and stuff, but I don't really know his kit well. And, for, and honestly, for full disclosure, I don't know Arcielo's kit well either. Yeah, I on, I legit didn't really read up too much because I was I didn't want to spoil it too big for myself uh, moving forward because I will typically read up on the character as they're released and figure out how to play them. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I will absolutely be pulling on both of these guys. Um, I'm just hoping that I don't have pity or wait or burn completely through my ticket stash. Likewise, but yeah. I'm also I'm, I'm I'm burning my gems here. So I'm also expecting at least 75, 70k or less. I mean, I'll say this though: I, I'd rather burn all my tickets than burn any of my gems. So here's hoping. You got a lot of plants ahead of you, Ham. We know. Uh, well, no. Okay. I mean, contrary to belief, the only banner I'm really pulling on this month for sure is Arciella. Um, the others, while I'm interested in them. Or, are by no means a requirement in my eyes. You're you're pulling on Alpha No Lost Chapter as well. Well, yes, of course. I'm sorry. Thank you for bringing that back up. But well, we already know I've got that set aside. Yep. I'm talking more of I didn't initially intend to. Yeah. Arciella, and I'm I'm not. Sh I, I may actually go in on gems for that. I haven't decided yet. And it's kind of funny how uh, looking back, I still remember when these two characters, Arciella and Kais, were announced. Not a lot of people knew about them, like who the hell they were. I mean, that, that's a very, very niche Final Fantasy group. I mean, Arciella being from Final Fantasy XI, uh, which amazingly enough is still active and also requires a subscription to pay, or to play, excuse mm -hmm. me. And then Kais being from Crystal Chronicles, I don't even recall exactly which one. I, I had no idea the who the hell they were. Crystal Bearers. Oh, okay. He's from the Crystal Bearers. So that's Lael's game, right? Yep, Lael's game. So he's his friend and rival. I see. So yeah, um, and it's kind of funny how they release these two characters that most people have even heard of, and they make them completely busted. Seems legit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it's totally a, it's totally something Square would do, no okay. doubt. Yep, and not to mention that we got. We're going to expect more other characters in the future as well. Mm. Yeah, I mean, we got some crazy characters coming before the burst era. They they know what they're doing. They're trying to get us to drain but you know hindsight no we don't need that foresight is our friend so that's why me personally i have to scale down because i'm seeing something in the very far future that i badly want but 
I mean, it's gonna be tough. I mean, if you got resources, folks, and these characters are amazing. Like Arciella support Queen pretty much the moment she's released. Yep, exactly. Maybe after April, after June ends, I might have to take a break from spending entirely until August. I because... don't, because I have one more epic character banner coming next month, which I guess we'll talk about at that time. Yeah, I mean, speaking of which, we really only have two months before we reach the burst in LD era. Yep. Yes, it's closing in by. fast. Time goes by, and we're nearing towards the... Mm. And we will, yeah, we'll definitely cover that on the next uh, stream recap for sure. Um, speaking of which, I'm a little bit irritated that uh, we did not get the Act Two, Chapter Nine announced. So it's come, that it's apparently going to come a little bit later in the month, which is odd because usually the story chapter occurs in the middle of the month, and we all know who it is. It's Cloud of Darkness. I'm absolutely pulling on Cloud of Darkness. Yep. Well, I have I have a question though. Does she does she really accompany you, or like Jet does, or? I think I she know. simply works uh, the same as most of the villains, how they give you their coordinates and you can use them as you see fit. Thought so. <laughs> but anyway, we won't get too far onto that because I'm just, I, I mostly brought it up because I'm irritated that they didn't announce it already, but I understand, you know, they're going to do the stream, the next stream a little bit earlier in the month, June 22nd, which means we'll have a week left. And of course, we'll have that story chapter then probably an LC or another event at the same time. But we'll see about that. Anywho, uh, do you yeah, guys have any final uh, thoughts? They, they, yeah, my final thought actually is in relation to what you were just saying. They did hint at that something else was coming. And, you know, July, global, you never know, man. We might yep. be getting something besides the uh, chapter, act two, chapter nine. That's my, that's my guess. No proof to that. I just got a funny feeling it might be the case. But other than that, final thoughts, uh, Epic month coming, folks. Enjoy. Get who you want. I pray, I wish you all fantastic pull of luck. We got some great stuff coming now, next month. But we'll talk about that later, obviously. Just good luck, everyone. We got some really good stuff coming, and I hope everyone gets who they want. And my final thoughts on this one is, if you're going for your favorites, go for your favorites. Even if it, if it, even if it means if it's a meta... I don't know else what to say, but we got, a, again, like Ham said, like Asti said, we still got a lot of days and weeks to go until we reach the LD Burst era. More surprises? I'm all for it. Global firsts, of course. Surprise us. My only final thought is I would totally 5-7 five, five, clap Arcella's cheeks. <laughs> Ah, you would <laughs> squeeze that in the last second. <laughs> you know, I knew it. I knew it. All right. Uh, that being said, I hope everybody enjoyed this recap. Uh, let us know what your thoughts are in the comments. And this is Asinosis signing off. Farewell, everyone. Bye bye.